Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Esther, chapter 3 and 4. After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him, and all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed in reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him, but Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servant, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgressest thou the king's commandment? Now it came to pass when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath, and he thought scorn and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had shewed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. In the first month, that is the month Nisan, in, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast pure, that is the pure that is the lot before Haman from day to day and from month to month to the twelfth month that is the month Adar and Haman said unto king Hasuerus there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of thy kingdom and their laws are diverse from all people neither keep they the king's laws therefore it is not for the king's prophet to suffer them if it please the king let it be written that they may be destroyed and i will pay ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries and the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, the Jew's enemy. And the king said unto Haman, The silver is given to thee, to thee, the people also to do with them as it seemeth good to thee. Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day, of the first month and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors that were over every province and to the rulers of every people of every province according to the written to the writing thereof and to every people after their language in the name of king Ahasuerus was it written and sealed with the king's ring, 
and the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar, and which was the month Adar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey, the copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people, and they should be ready against that day. The posts went out being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was given in Shushan, the palace, and the king and Haman sat down to drink, but the city Shushan was perplexed. When Mordecai perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry and came even before the king's gate for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth and in every province whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came there was great mourning among the Jews and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved and she sent raiment to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him but he received it not. Then called Esther for Hattach, one of the king's chamberlains, whom he had appointed to attend upon her, and gave him a commandment to, Mor to Mordecai to know what it was and why it was. So Hattach went forth to Mordecai unto the street of the city which was before the king's gate, and Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him and of the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. And he gave him the copy of the writing and the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to shew it, unto Esther and to declare it unto her and to charge her that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him and to make request before him for her people. And Hattach came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again Esther spake unto Hattach and gave him commandment unto Mordecai and the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner court who is not called, there is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter, that he may live. But I have not been called to come in unto the king these thirty days. And they told and they told to Mordecai Esther's words. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall there enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou in thy father's house shall be destroyed, and who knowest whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? When Esther bade them return Mordecai this answer, 
Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commanded him. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated.